Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You guessed it, today is another Trendsetter Tuesday. I wanted to take a minute to be transparent with you guys. I have a Franken Plan Planner, which contains three planners, one of which I have not worked in at all, which is my budget planner, just because we're getting settled. So I'm not gonna be using it the way that I thought I was, but once I figure out how I'm gonna use it, I'm definitely going to keep you guys posted on how I want to use my budget. And, I'm feel, and I feel like it's going to come out of here and it's gonna be replaced with another planner and I'll tell you guys about that soon, just not right now. But anyway, I wanna be transparent. Um, I love my trendsetter. I love the fact that it's month to month. I can make my goals the way I want to. It is absolutely perfect for my um, social media planner. However, I have not been utilizing it that way. Like, I wanted to gain 500 subbies on Teacher IG and planning in February. It's mid-March and I have not accomplished those goals. Gain 800 subscribers on YouTube. It's mid-March. I'm almost there, but I'm not quite. Increased black blog traffic. Haven't done that at all. My top three for this month was blogging, pinning videos, and recording. Have not pinned a video. Have not wrote a blog post. Have not um, recorded. I post on Instagram, but not as much as I, was, I, as I would like to. And I did not check it off for my monthly habit tracker. Um, I always try to comment or like um back when people leave me comments i'm really good about that but i didn't mark it off on my habit tracker my ig story i wanted to post something every single day just to keep my social media presence there which is what my focus was this week didn't happen so guys and then i'm just gonna be even more transparent i had goals here i had a list of things that i wanted to do for that week and then i just stopped writing so all of these i can't even use guys because well i can use it i can repurpose it with these dates um and because we're coming up on these dates that's exactly what i'm going to do i'm just going to repurpose these two sheets for march um okay guys so i'm going to show you how i'm going to repurpose this i don't feel bad because you know life happens so i want to show you guys how you can make it work for you so the first thing you want to do is go to the pages that um, you were unable to use as you can see I'm not going to use seven because I started writing in it so I'm going to start with 12 because that was the first day of this week and so I just flip back to my calendar just to look at the dates and see how I can use them and where I wanted to start it so I'm going to start at 12 and I'm going to stop at 28 for that month for this month in particular so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop out those checklists I can use them somewhere else but I'm definitely going to keep these so I'm zooming back out guys so I can show you exactly what I'm doing so as you can see I've already popped out um, those from March and I am putting in those in February and you can stop right there if you wanted want to but I wanted to cover up 6 through 11 just because I wanted to make it look really really good so I decided to use these inserts that came in I believe it's the glam girl happy planner line um, and so the first thing I did was cut off the punches um, so that I can lay it down as evenly as I could. So I'm going to show you guys that. And then I was trying to make the decision if I wanted to use the front or if I wanted to use the back. And I opted on um, using the back. And there's a reason why I did that. Now, at first, I was going to just lay it down like this. But having all of those checklists and all of those things already um, makes it um, unnecessary to have another focus on and checklist and all that in the checklist section. So I felt like the notes section would be better utilized. I thought it was even prettier. And so I chose to use um, the note side.
So after um, I measured everything, then I just glued that note section down on top. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side for 10 and 11. So it required a little bit more measurement um, on my part, but I figured out what I wanted to do. At first, I was just going to use the brainstorming section. But then as I started looking, I liked the way the uh, note section looked side by side. So I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so I cut my sheet down, but as you can see, I covered up my 12 a little bit. So I had to go through um, and mark where I needed to um, trim it off from. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm doing some trimming. So as you can see, I love the way that that looked when it was um, lined up together. I just thought it made it really pop with notes going all the way across in that um, beautiful hot pink um, background. So that's what I chose to do. Uh, sorry, guys. Somebody was texting me on my phone. So, OK, here we go. I love the way that it turned out. So this is how I'm going to utilize my pages. Now, one of the things I forgot to do, guys, was to punch this in before I tried to put it back into my planner. As you can see, I couldn't get it to work, but that's fine because I have a punch. So I'm going to pull that out and I've made it even with that first um, punch because it was still there. And I repunched it so that everything was nice and even. So now I can use that Okay, guys, so I love how it turned out. So I'm going to be able to use those pages that I did not use before. Comment below and let me know if this has ever happened to you and if this video was useful for you. Uh, make sure you click that subscribe button as well as the bell so you'll be notified for new videos. Keep God first in everything you do. Stay tuned for part two where I do my plan with me for my trendsetter. Happy planning and teaching you guys. Bye.